stay a while and listen. Hey guys, Securus here. This is gonna be my last Diablo Immortal video. I've been playing this game for a couple of days now, and I'm at the point now that I really can't make effective progress in the game anymore. And by that I mean that the late game is designed for you to spend more money and not to grind the game. Everything is either hard capped or soft capped, all except one thing, and that is to spend real money. All your other ways of progress in the game slowly becomes more narrow the longer you play and all this that the only effective way for you to become more powerful is to spend real money. And the game is designed so you feel good in the early game. Um, but the longer you play, the more you will feel the feel restricted. You will feel the need to pay so you can progress if you want to continue playing the game. Uh, when you start to play this game, you got a lot of exploring, you got progression by getting new spells, explore new zones, and you get free legendary camps. And you get this overwhelming feeling that you got so much stuff you can do. But it all starts to decline and when you get around level 50 you will start to feel, sl feel slow and less stuff you can do. And what do I mean by this? I mean the games really feel restricted by making your late game having hard and soft caps on the stuff you can do in a meaningful way. And by meaningful, I mean it doesn't, it shouldn't feel a waste of your time by doing it. It gotta have some meaningful way. So what is this endgame I'm talking about? There's a couple of different things you can do, but uh, I have a list here. And uh, Challenge, Challenge Rift and Path of Blood, they have a soft cap by making the it's super much harder if you are like one level or like two levels lower than the encounter and it really stacks up. Uh, bounties, you can only do eight of them each, you only get eight of them each day. Rifts, you can buy three rare crests in game, in, in game currency and get one free each day. You can do f like four rifts with bonus rare rifts uh, with rare crest. Um, and you get one legendary quest each month, like one each month. Uh, you get one contract each day you can do. Uh, and if you're high level than the server average level, then you get penalty in experience gain. All your experience gets a penalty. You get less experience if you're the, uh, like if the average level on this your server is like Paragon 10 and you are like Paragon 12, you get like only 60% of the experience you should. Uh, it's not those numbers, but something like that. Uh, Eliquarion, you can only do, you can only get reward once each week. Legacy of Horium, you can only do one each day. Uh, by playing Battleground, you get bonus of playing them, but you only get three bonus each day. The vault has a weekly limit on how many chests you can open, that's 40. Uh, even the experience you can earn from the battle pass has a limited amount you can earn for each week. And that's your main, like, main source of getting experience. And there's a lot more stuff than this, but I think I made my point. The only thing that doesn't have a restriction on you on making your character more powerful is to spend real money. So that means if you wanna keep growing game in a realistic way, and I'm gonna come back what I mean by realistic, uh, is you start to need to spend money on getting legendary games. And you do need a lot of legendary games, and the best one to get them is to use legendary crest. You can craft them with runes, but legendary crest is is gonna be the main way you get them. Uh, so how many legendary crests do you do you get as a free to play user? You get one to two each month. You can buy one legendary crest per month from the hills trader, and that's it. Then you can get 
like a bonus from some other stuff, but technically you get one to two each month. And what are your chances to get the best legendary games? A five of a, of a five star legendary games. It's about in 8,000 legendary crests, you have a 99% chance to get one. 8,000. So, as a free to play user, you get one to two each mouse. So, that's not a realistic way of getting a five or five, five star game. So, you can just give up on that if you're not gonna pay. So, uh, but let's say you bought 8,000 legendary crests. It would still take you around 66 hours of non-stop play if you spam rifts with 10 legendary crests at a time. Uh, so you still have to work for it. Uh, but someone made for made a guide for free to play user that it takes like two and a half months if you just play 100% all the time to rank one star game up to that to rank 10. If you have one star game, they are cheaper to rank up, and the max rank is rank 10. And for a two star game, it's around nine months of playing like each day. Um, but after that, you have need to awaken the games, and then you need uh, and different currencies. So you need around, around like 2,000 games to get resonates to get 50 to, of, out of 50. Uh, but if you don't want to spend a lifetime being a free-to-play uh, user, you can spend around two hundred twenty-four thousand uh, dollars. But uh, technically, no one really knows how much spend money you have to spend to mid-max your gear. Uh, it's really hard, and. This have made it so that we can't like figure it out because it it's so many it's so hard to simulate all the layers of randomness and they don't want us to know. And this design is made by Blizzard by default because they are counting that Crest is gonna make most of the re revenue. And it's obvious that they're using this as a test module to see how we gamers react if they can use this as a standard model in the future game. So everyone needs to gather needs to gather around and share videos like this one makes posts on forum that we are not okay with this heavy pay to win module and we don't want to see it again. And it's really up to us now to act so we can have a better gaming future that this is unacceptable behavior of the com of these companies. The game is designed for normal players to feel bad for playing the game while paying players get a good feeling of progression and dopamine. And this is my last Diablo Mortal video again. Have a good day. Like and share the video if you like it. Make a thumbs up. Yeah.